so uh, last month, uh, Senator Police, Pauline Hansen uh, uh, tweeted saying that um, to uh, Senator Farooqi that uh, to peace off to uh, back to Pakistan. So as a university professor, I was wondering, is it safe actually for me to actually use that exactly what she said to my to use it with my colleagues to my students? Uh, uh, will I actually still have my job? Right. Mm. You know, someone like me has heard that said to me hundreds and hundreds of times in my 30 years in Australia. My kids have heard it while they were growing up in school, uh, university, at workplaces. And I know that so many people who contacted me after Senator Hansen um, said that to me have told me how triggered they have mm -hmm. felt. Because what this does is it really pokes and prods at the scars that we already carry because of the incessant racism that is piled on uh, upon us. For me, it was humiliating. It was insulting. Um, and, you know, it, it really does challenge my belonging to a place that I have called home for 30 years. Um, and I don't think it would be tolerated in any workplace. And I've spoken to many others, others as well. I have worked in local government. I've worked in a university as well. I've worked in a consulting firm. And I can tell you, they were all, I'm a civil engineer, so they were all very male-dominated white spaces. But I can tell you, in none of those spaces have I been made to feel as I feel in my current workplace. And none of those workplaces would have tolerated that. And there would have been consequences for those people who might have said that to another colleague. But here, in Parliament, zero consequence. And Senator Hansen has been doing this for decades as well, without any sanctions, without any accountability. So what I tried to do and what the Greens tried to do with the censure motion was to try and hold Senator Hansen to account. But that censure motion was watered down to actually remove the censure. So what kind of message does that send to the rest of the community? Here we are you know, the so-called leaders in this country who are not willing to call out racism and hold the perpetrator accountable. I think it sends a horrible message, and it basically gives free reign. It actually legitimizes, then, what happens in, um, you know, sporting clubs or sporting arenas and what happened, um, you know, last week. Uh, with, you know, the fat fascist symbols and, you know, the disrespect um, we're for going, punishment to country. We're, we're, we're going to get to that, Francis. Yes. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I very much um, feel, I really do feel for you, because I think that, um, and again, I think I come at this uh, from the perspective of somebody who is uh, a British citizen, but is also an Australian, uh, a dual Australian national. And if you're telling, and I'm an Australian national, so if somebody says to me, piss off back to where you come from, um, I'm Australian, you know. Um, Senator Faruqi's kids are probably born here, raised here. Uh, they might have brown skin, but if you're telling them to piss off, just think about the underlying assumptions you're making about that person. Uh, you're telling them that they don't belong here because they happen to have a brown skin. Um, and uh, yeah, and I said in the UK, um, I grew up in that sort of environment where people, black, um, Asian, yeah, were being told constantly to piss off back to where they came from. Um, and uh, we had, I mean, uh, not long ago, I mean, some years ago, we had a, a famous Australian, uh, an ex-Olympian, tell uh, uh, Mark Philippoussis to go back to where his parents came from. I mean, Mark I mean, sorry, not Mark Philippoussis, Nick, sorry. Nick Kyrgios. Nick, Nick Kyrgios, sorry. I'm thinking about the wrong, the, wrong, the wrong guy. Yeah, Nick Kyrgios was told to piss off back to where his parents came from, and he's born here, mm. you know. So, it's, it's, so if you cannot see the underlying assumptions there, it's, 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 it's just... What can I say? Uh, Amanda, the, the question really went to a double standard, didn't it? Um, you're saying that you wouldn't be able to do this in, in your workplace, Sharif. Why is this allowed in Parliament? Well, firstly, I, I wanted to say to Maureen personally, I'm really sorry you had to uh, endure that because I can only imagine that if a senator of Australia is enduring it, in mm -hmm. fact, it's happening right across the country. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the comments you made, and I, I can't pretend to understand what it's like, but I have spoken with people that have said that it is very triggering um, to uh, that sense of belonging. So someone that's been elected to the Australian Senate... Uh, uh, is, is in that position is difficult. Of course, uh, we've got to call it out. And I think Senator Penny Wong, who has all 
also experienced, uh, did a blistering speech that really did call it out. But we've got to constantly be calling it out. Um, but the censure motion, just sorry to interrupt mm -hmm. to go to Maureen's point, was watered down. Is that calling it out? Well, I, I think if anyone listened to what Penny Wong said in her speech, it was blistering. It, was, it didn't try and hide the fact that this was racist. It was completely unacceptable and shouldn't be targeted at anyone in Australia, let alone uh, a senator of the Australian Parliament, but shouldn't be, shouldn't be tolerated by anyone because it is triggering and it is, is very... Uh, uh, it, it doesn't bring people together. And I think um, uh, Senator Hanson is elected to the Australian Parliament, but we can all call out uh, bad behaviour, and uh, I'm doing that tonight, and I think uh, it was done in the Senate as well. The well, words do matter, um, and I'm really appreciative of the words that Senator Wong used, but actions matter more. Yeah. And the action for that day was <laughs> that today... racism to account, and that did not happen. So I have followed on, and I have made a complaint to the Human Rights Commission on the basis of racism. Mm. Sure, you, you wanted to ask something else? Yeah, I think it's, to me, it's like, it's double standard, and I feel like it's very, very unjust. Like, you know, someone is just taking, like, you know, an exemption for doing, but if I did the same action, I'm totally going to be treated differently. So, yeah, calling out is a good thing, but definitely action is totally different.